Good morning, televiewers of Media Prime Television. Uh, happy weekend from us uh, on this uh, platform. You're on to your favorite bilingual program, The Brief, which is always dedicated to the review of striking headlines uh, in the papers. On today's edition of the program, the newspapers are focusing on the end of dreaded Ambazonia fighters or warlord Fi Masha. Fi Masha was uh, killed by the military in Libya Lem Division. That was yesterday. His corpse, according to what we are reading in the papers, uh, finally been displaced in Kumba, Meme Division of uh, the Southwest Region. We shall tell you more in this edition of the program and also the decision of President Pobia yesterday appointing some senior divisional officers as well as uh, divisional officers across some divisions and uh, subdivisions in uh, the country. We are told by the papers that uh, certain divisions have gotten uh, more deals and SDUs as uh, the papers uh, are telling us uh, this morning. We shall read through the decrees of President Pobia yesterday appointing military as well as uh, administrative authorities in the regions of the country. As we are told that uh, a, a general that was fighting Boko Haram up north has been sent to the northwest region of uh, the country replacing Ka Vale. And uh, Gladys Bomotongina is here. Meanwhile, Metro Alex Ndive will be joining us on the line to the UK and uh, also Monique Emanuela. Monique Emanuela is with us in the studio. And we shall be digging several layers uh, beneath those major headlines in the next uh, one hour. Gladys, let's have the headlines in the French language newspapers. Bonjour, La Chakinsi. Bonjour, une fois de plus, Gladys. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Bonjour yeah. à vos fidèles. Bon weekend à toi. Eh? Ah, c'est merveilleux en fait. <laughs> La fin de la semaine. <laughs> Merci à vous de nous retrouver pour cette dernière édition de Débris, votre émission bilingue de revue de presse sur My Media Prime Télévision. Alors ce matin, nous allons débuter avec le journal Le Soir, le journal Le Soir qui nous parle, lui, en grand titre, du problème de carburant au Cameroun. En effet, le journal nous parle de disponibilité des produits pétroliers, des prévisions à la hausse pour maintenir donc la résilience. Les détails sont en page 3 du journal Le Soir pour ce jour. Nous restons toujours dans le même journal le soir à sa page 7. Le journal nous parle de la lutte contre les inondations dans la ville de Yaoundé. Célestine Ketia Koutes développe donc des solutions. Nous poursuivons, mesdames, messieurs, ce matin avec l'économie quotidien. L'économie quotidien nous parle en grand titre de production et transformation du blé, ce à quoi va servir la subvention de l'État. Les détails sont en page 3 de l'économie quotidien ce matin. À sa page 7, c'est que le journal nous parle des affaires de business au Cameroun. Le groupe Castel qui achète donc, qui rachète donc Guinness Cameroun. Les détails sont donc en page 5 de l'économie quotidien ce matin. À sa page 4, le journal nous parle du numérique. Flocage et Visa qui s'associent donc pour accompagner les petites et moyennes entreprises africaines. Nous poursuivons, mesdames, messieurs, avec l'info à chaud. L'info à chaud nous parle en grand titre de conséquences dévasta dévastatrices économiques économique du Covid-19 et de la guerre en Ukraine dans l'économie mondiale et au Cameroun en particulier. Des résiliences salutaires du Cameroun. Les détails sont donc en page 2 de l'info à chaud ce matin. À sa page 3, le journal revient donc sur l'acquisition de Guinness par Castel. Nous continuons, mesdames, messieurs, ce matin avec le journal Émergence quotidien. Émergence quotidienne qui nous parle en grand titre de la pénurie de carburant au Cameroun. L'augmentation des prix est quasi acquise au Cameroun. Les prix euh, des carburants vont être revus à la hausse dans euh, des jours à venir. Les détails sont donc en page 5 de quotidien émergence ce matin. À sa page 2, le journal quotidien émergence nous présente la dette publique du Cameroun. Le Cameroun payera donc près de 300 milliards de francs CFA euh, d'intérêt en 2023. Nous poursuivons donc, mesdames, messieurs, ce matin avec le journal Mutation quotidien. Mutation quotidien nous parle de l'affectation du nouveau général à Bamenda. Il s'agit de Bouba Dobé Creo qui arrive donc dans la ville de Bamenda. Il s'agit du symbole de la puissance de feu de l'armée camerounaise dont la guerre contre Boko Haram. Il change donc de front. Les détails sont en page 9 de Mutation quotidien ce matin. À sa page 7, le journal vient aussi 
euh, nous parler de carburant, la hausse vers une hausse, une augmentation des prix à la pompe au Cameroun. Nous poursuivons, mesdames, messieurs, nous clôturons ce matin avec l'œil du Sahel. L'œil du Sahel qui nous parle lui aussi euh, du général euh, Bouba Dobé Créo qui quitte donc euh, la, le front de Boko Haram pour se rendre à Bamenda afin de lutter contre les sécessionnistes. Les détails sont en page 3 de l'œil du Sahel ce matin. Mesdames, messieurs, c'est tout pour vos titres en langue française. Place à la découverte des titres en langue anglaise avec toi, Lacha Kinsley. Thank you so much, Gladys Bomotongina. Let's kick start this morning with the Loon English Daily, the Guardian Post newspaper, the Guardian Post. This morning is focusing on the what the paper terms dramatic rise and shameful fall of fee masha in uh, the uh, southwest region of uh, the country, the paper tells us further that military operations in the interiors of the BLM division of the southwest region since Tuesday till nightfall yesterday have marked uh, the end of an era for dreaded separatist warlord Oliver Lekieka, widely known by its uh, sodium name as Phil Masha, the detachment of soldiers uh, on board. Uh, an helicopter touched down at the headquarters of the Sith region of Rapid Intervention Battalion in uh, Mabanda Kumba, Mabanda Kumba yesterday with the remains of Fi Masha who had assumed the posture of an invisible being since 2017. It is the turn of events uh, which observers say have brought a shameful end to the dramatic rise of a compatriot who made waves for what the paper says was the wrong agenda under the downpour the call was or the cops was brought out alongside weapons and uh, concessions uh, which military sources said uh, belonged to the dreaded separatist uh, fighters more details or separatist fighter more details on page three of this edition of uh, the guardian post uh, newspaper the guardian post is also talking about the uh, shameful exit of uh, the indomitable lionesses of the country lionesses failed to break Super Falcons uh, Hemogoni uh, crash out uh, the paper right. So the indomitable lionesses of the country failed yesterday to grab that uh, victory that was needed to take them to the next uh, level as uh, the paper tells us. Unfortunately for the indomitable lionesses of the country, they couldn't obtain a win over Nigeria. You can read more on page 3 of this edition of uh, the set uh, newspaper. Let's talk about this editorial uh, piece by the Guardian Post newspaper this uh, morning. Be as a second generation agriculture, the paper says uh, this morning, tall in words, short in actions. Recently, President Pobia pumped in 10 billion francs CFA into Iraq for research in uh, wheat production in uh, the country. Let's leave the Guardian Post newspaper. We are with Municipal Updates newspaper, which is focusing on the recent uh, decrease uh, that uh, was signed yesterday by President Pobia, appointing SDOs and uh, DOs and other local administrative authorities, as well as military uh, officials in uh, the country. The paper this time around is focusing on what is happening in FACO Division of uh, the southwest region of the country panic grips land grabbers and uh, fake chiefs in faco division of uh, the southwest region as uh, the former senior divisional officer who was uh, reported to be corrupt when it comes to land issues has left the southwest region and what the paper is worried about this morning is uh, the fact that uh, some land grabbers as well as uh, fake chiefs are panicking as the senior divisional officer leaves uh, uh, FACO division. Let's leave uh, municipal updates. We are with the Post Weekender, the Post Weekender newspaper this morning is interested in uh, the uh, killing of uh, dreaded Ambazonia warlord uh, Fi Masha, self anointed Amber Fi Masha, smashed uh, to death, uh, the paper tells us this uh, morning. The Voice newspaper is uh, bringing to us uh, how he was. Uh, uh, the military was able to capture him and uh, uh, kill him. His corpse has been displayed in Kumba, uh, Meme division of the southwest region of the country. And the paper is also reporting on uh, the coming of French president to Cameroon, Emmanuel Macron. The paper tells us this morning or uh, is questioning what for our master Macron coming to Yaoundé. What for? That's the question the voice weekender is asking this morning. What is Emmanuel Macron coming to do? in uh, Yaoundé or coming to Cameroon to do. Uh, that's what the paper is uh, uh, starting to know this uh, morning. You can read more 
on uh, the analysis of uh, the voice weekend uh, about the coming of Emmanuel Macron to Cameroon only in this edition of the set newspaper and uh, talking about military appointments General Kavale uh, leaves northwest region of the country and Buba Buba who has been fighting uh, Boko Haram of no is now sent uh, to, or has been sent to the northwest region of the country to combat the secessionist uh, separatist uh, fighters over there in the northwest region and uh, women African Cup of Nations in Morocco 2022 lionesses on team dilution of or dissolution rights at the Voice Weekend at newspaper. The domestic lionesses of the country were defeated yesterday by the Super or the Falcon of uh, Nigeria as uh, the post weekend at Tesos. Uh, they failed to grab that victory that would have taken them to the next uh, stage of the competition, as uh, the post weekend puts it. We take you now to Cameroon Tribune. Uh, to end this morning, the National Bilingual Daily is focusing on the decision of President Paul Bia appointing military officials as well as uh, uh, local administrative authorities in some divisions and regions of uh, the country. Yesterday, President Paul Bia uh, sent out a series of decrees or signed a series of decrees appointing uh, those military officials as well as uh, local administrative authorities and uh, uh, secretary generals uh, in uh, ministry and some divisions of uh, the country. You can read more in this edition of Cameroon Tribune newspaper. And Cameroon Tribune is also uh, interested in the recent outing of the senior divisional officer for Fundi Division combating insecurity in Yaoundé. Uh, remain calm but vigilant. Those were the words of the senior divisional officer for Fundi uh, Division in uh, the central region of the country after two improvised explosives detonated at the Mokolo market. Recently, the SDO for Fundi has call on the population not to panic but to show proof of vigilance uh, stating that uh, necessary security measures are in place to secure people and their property. You can read more on pages uh, 4 through 5 of this edition of the National Bilingual Daily uh, Cameroon Tribune. Uh, 2022 Women African Cup of Nations Lionesses Bow Out uh, writes uh, Cameroon Tribune. Cameroon lost to uh, uh, potential uh, rivals Nigeria. One goes to zero yesterday, July 14, 2022, in one of the quarterfinals uh, matches. Uh, the defeat also uh, robs uh, Cameroon or the indomitable lionesses of an imminent uh, qualification for the next uh, female World Cup built for 2023 in uh, 2023 as uh, the paper tells us more details on pages uh, 26 through uh, 7 or pages 26 through 7 of this edition of uh, Cameroon Tribune newspaper. Thank you for watching televiewers of My Media Prime Television. We are back in the studio to proceed with our discussions as, as usual. Emanuela Moni has joined us. So we are equally having our Metro Alex Ndive on the line to UK. Let's begin with uh, Emanuela Moni before we get to Metro Alex Ndive. Emanuela, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Kinsley. Good morning, Gladys. Good morning, televiewers. And uh, I'm happy to be here on the brief this morning. So many headlines. And uh, the very, uh, you know, what is making news <laughs> this morning is the killing of dreaded Ambazonia generals, Fimasha, mm -hmm. Fimasha of Libya. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I when you first read it, you thought you, <laughs> I was having a conversation with you. You said, ah, this is a general of the Ambazonia yes. with a cab. You were confused. You thought it was, was one of the generals. You even asked me, that, yes. who is this man? I was wondering why. You who is know, this man that all the newspapers exactly. in Cameroon. Uh, and, and I was wondering why the, the, the newspapers captioned it that way. Because I was like, how can it be a general in, you know, our the government? And we are kind of being so happy about it and all that. Then I realized <laughs> that it was an Ambazonian general. And um, that, that, that was so funny anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we just uh, are joking, uh, televiewers. <laughs> um, meanwhile, uh, he was killed in an operation that uh, lasted for close to two days in Libya, in the nooks of remote interiors or so interiors of Libya. Uh, and the Fee Masha, has, who has been wreaking havoc in that community, was finally apprehended. Is it good news for the population? after so much atrocities committed by him 
Personally, Kingsley, I think it's very good news. It's true, he's dead and the atrocities he's is, caused... He's still a Cameroonian. He's still a Cameroonian. The atrocities he has caused, yeah, it's true, you know, we cannot go back to them, the people he's killed and lives he has destroyed and all that. He's a Cameroonian, yes, but was he a patriotic Cameroonian? That's the question I'm asking. Because if you are a patriotic Cameroonian, you would know that you cannot just kill your fellow Cameroonians just like that. You fight for them. You fight for their well-being. You don't go about saying that you're fighting for a particular people, yet you're killing them. And I also hear stories of him, you know, singing a song and saying in the song that, you know, he's killing people for God. Like he's doing, he's working for God, actually, the things he was doing, the atrocities he, he committed. According to him, he, he was doing it for God. I don't see how God will be happy you know, somebody taking lives that they know very well. Est-ce qu'on peut penser, Emmanuel Monique, que ces garçons ont déjà des problèmes, des problèmes psychologiques? Psychologiques. Exactement, Gladys. Ces garçons ne sont plus normales. Je ne sais pas ce qui, je ne, je ne, je ne peux vraiment pas décrire ce qui leur a mis dans cette situation de, 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 de de démence. De démence, mm -hmm. exactement. Mais je crois que ce, plus, ce ne sont plus des êtres normaux comme mm -hmm. toi et moi. Mm -hmm. Oui. Parce que je ne crois pas que si tu as toute ta tête, tu vas décider de tuer les gens, tes frères, tu tues tes... Parce que ce qui est amusant, c'est que ces gens-ci ne tuent pas les gens d'ailleurs. Mm -hmm. Ces gens décident de tuer leurs propres frères, leurs propres soeurs, mm -hmm. et en disant qu'ils sont en train de faire cela. Pour Dieu, est-ce que, est que Dieu peut nous demander de faire une telle chose Je ne crois ça pas. Ça dépend de, de quel Dieu ch chacun sait. Exactement, sert, oui, oui, oui. <rire> ça, dépend, ça dépend de quel Dieu, comme tu, tu l'as si bien dit. Maître Alex, good morning uh, and welcome. Secessionist does not has got nothing to do with violence. A secessionist is a person who is in favor of formal withdrawal from a federation or a body. I've seen geos, I've seen government officials, they keep on associating secession with it's not true. A secessionist does not need to be somebody who is favoring violence. There are so many secessionists in the CPDM, in different political parties. I know them, they are not violent. They are not violent. So, no. Yeah, Neto, you saw the images of a uh, uh, dreaded fear masha being displayed by the military. What caught your attention? What, what was your take after even, you know, I knowing don't, that he was I killed? Don't know, I don't know if he's dreaded, but however, I am not really fun when people call themselves Phil Masha or give them name title that they don't deserve it because if you if even Phil with there's so much even with there's so I, much atrocities it, they don't deserve the, the name there's so I'm much coming there the Phil Masha is the highest rank in the British army so when people try to his name I don't like it in they in China, I'm sure they had just six um, field marshal in Britain, 141. I'm talking since the creation of the United Kingdom. In uh, Soviet Union, they have just 40. Then you see some people try to call the name names. When you have somebody that there, attack uh, and burn, somebody who attack and burn down two ammo cars, killing all its occupants. Mr. Lasha, I won't go with those type of rhetoric. They say Cameroon say any time you go out. All those things that you people are saying are allegations. I believe in what I believe that when something happened, there is a government. What are the circumstances of his death? That's what I want to know. Was was it murder during fighting? Was it extrajudicial killing? Was it possible to arrest him and come and try him in a court of law? Let all those evidence be proven to the people of the Cameroons. Those are the things I want to see. I will not see. How come that every time? The Cameroon need to kill these people, arrest them, bring them to the court of law who we'll have information, who we'll know more things. When you kill them, you put million arms beside them. It doesn't help us in any way. One, I condemn violence of any form, but I will tell you, I will not celebrate the death of any human being. There is a government in Cameroon, there are ways to things. Sometimes they should arrest people and bring them. If but the people, uh, Metro, the very people war. say, the very people say, we are at war. 
When you're at war, <laughs> you don't play with the enemies. Do you know something, Mr. Lasha? I can say I'm going to kill you. It doesn't mean I'll kill you. People say things. I understand. This guy, I've seen pictures before him. When the police killed him. I've seen all those things. The way things work in a civilized world, in a democracy, you arrest these people, you put them in front of the court of law, you get a lot of evidence. That's the way you can bring people and understand what's going on. But when you kill them, you kill information. That's what the government is getting it wrong. Uh, I read something, or I saw a video of the former vice president of Cameroon, John Gufonja. He said, during, is it during the Makiza period? They used to arrest these people without killing them to get information from them. That is how it works. If there is a possibility to arrest them, bring them and let's get information. You cannot be killing these people because every day you kill somebody, you hear another commander diamond, somebody else will come. So it doesn't commander solve diamond. the problem. <laughs> Me. It doesn't solve the problem. So it is very important. It is very important. Est-ce que vous ne pensez pas que ce sont eux-mêmes qui ne veulent pas qu'on les attrape vivants? Do you know something? We are taking the animals and putting it to criminals. It is the job of a government. If I'm a criminal, I don't want you to arrest me. It's a fact. I want to run away. It is up to the government to chase them and arrest them and bring them to face justice. And you don't expect somebody who is in the allegation that we are laying on him, which I've seen some picture. I'm not refusing. I've seen some uh, Metro Alex, Metro Alex, recently... Look, uh, Recently, a soldier lost his life that was in the southwest region trying to go arrest uh, some of the separatists with his uh, bare hands. And uh, <laughs> that daring soldier was killed. Is it what you are saying that the, the army should continue to, uh, to record uh, collateral damage or damages during let, such operations? Let me tell you, Mr. Lasha, I feel sorry um, for the soldier who was killed, but however, they are professional people. You don't go and arrest somebody with your bare hands. Soldiers, when they risk their life, it is their job. If you read their job description, when they are going to war, they know they might not come back. But a soldier is going to arrest somebody with your bare hands. That's unprofessional. We are talking about professional. Military, they are not just common people in the street. They were trained. It is their job. They know how to arrest people. They have different techniques. They have tear gas. They have other things that they can apprehend you. So we are not talking about a lay person here, we are talking about professional people who have been trained, who understand the laws of war, who understand them, that prisoners have war, prisoners have right. These are people who know those things. We are not talking about common people. My point is, since this uh, so-called war started, I've not seen the government of Cameroon arresting people since the so-called war started. It is very important that they start arrest some of these people so we can get information and they can start trying to get information. The way they keep people, I'll tell you, I know somebody personally that was killed by the military in Bali. The person did not have any arms. They planted their arms beside the person. I know that person. So we should be careful. If we are in a country or a military, we cannot label everybody that they are Ambazonia or they are secessionist fighters. We should very be careful. Maître, maître, on a vu plusieurs vidéos de Firma Shal en même temps. Ce n'est pas comme si euh, il n'y avait pas de preuve qu'il était euh, un ambazonien. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying. I say my own way in a civilized world, in a democracy. You don't come and say, oh, we have killed this person that you want to bring in. Is it they want to display his body at the same junction? You have killed him. One, give that person the body to the family to bury him. You don't need to transfer the body from Lebianem and take it to Kumba to display it in the public place. That's only a country that's not civilized that would do such a thing. I'm saying because you commit a crime doesn't mean you don't have rights. Prisoners, they have rights. I'm telling you even the Cameroon laws, the Cameroon constitution, I'm not condemning that this guy. He was a good guy. He was wonderful. That's not what I'm Metro, saying. You, you are a lawyer. Like you, are, you are a lawyer. Metro, you are a lawyer. You know that when it comes to matters of murder, <laughs> we don't play with matters of murder. My, my point is, some of the things you're saying is allegation. That's why we have a court of law. If you arrest somebody, there's still death penalty in Cameroon. In most, all your other countries, we don't have death penalty. There are laws in Cameroon. Why waste, in why waste resources on somebody who already declared himself guilty of the crime no, you, he you, was you're, killed you're for? You're innocent until proven 
No, if I, if I come forth and accept that I am uh, or plead guilty to a crime that I'm being uh, accused of, when they have not even laid hands on me, when they catch me, why okay, should they there try are me again? Of people all over the world. Listen, there are people who do self-confession and they go in front of the court, they challenge it, they say, no, I did this because I was under duress or something, what I was saying. So that is why you have the court to test the evidence. That is why you have the court of law, is to test evidence. We are not saying, if we allow a country that anybody can do anything, you saw the senator, what happened to him in Bermuda, is commander, all those things. We need to see people being arrested. And they are trying in the court. Justice must be still done. If they keep on killing people, what is the essence of our courts in that country? Okay. That's my point. My okay. point is, if, he, if they are going to sentence him to death, let it be by the court of law. Although I'm against death sentence, personally. But I don't believe, except the military should come and tell us that they were fighting, doing fighting, combat, they killed him. Then that's different. But if he was not fighting, if he was unarmed, you don't you cannot kill him and if you kill him when he's unarmed it's a war crime it doesn't matter whether he has committed war crime the laws are there to sanction people who commit such crime in the cameroons okay metro and yesterday president paul beard uh, sent out a series of decrees appointing sdos and deals before i i take you to your division of origin where there's always problem of land let's talk about this uh, general that has been fighting Boko Haram up north. He has been sent to Bamenda to replace Ka Valet. We're talking about General Buba as a mutation newspaper is uh, telling us this morning. Well, from what I can say, if that um, general was fighting Boko Haram and they transfer him to the northwest region, that tells you that the government is rating these paramilitaries, these anglophone fighters at the same level as Boko Haram with the shame. Because to me, what the government should be doing, there is an issue in the Anglophone area. The government must start solving the problem. We have an educational system that we need to reform. We have a legal system that we have. We have an elected zero that is not our culture. All these things that they inherit. But the people, France, but the the people are fighting, solving. but the people are carrying the guns. They are not advocating for what you are saying. They are advocating for something else. To, to, let's face facts. We keep on saying the people, let me tell you, people who are fighting, killing people without saying what I'm saying, without talking about ideologies, they are criminals. That's up to the government to deal with criminal activity. Then there is an anglophone problem that the government have not even solved. There are issues that we have two culture, we have two institutions. If the government want peace, they should be solving those problems and we see that peace will come naturally. If you want to fight, there are criminals in the UK, there are criminals in America, in Germany, in France, they will always be criminal. And part of the function of the government is to maintain law. And, and, and the government is, to the government. best of my knowledge, the government is, is, is uh, in the process of solving the problems we are talking about. Why criminals, uh, they have to be dealt with. Uh, the people you call criminals, they have to be dealt with. Why government I'm engages... If you kill somebody, it's a crime. I'm not the one calling it. It's a fact. I'm not the one calling them criminal. Anybody you go around kidnapping somebody anywhere in the world, or you hold people for ransom, it's a criminal offense. So I'm not the one. State this government is trying to solve the problem. I hope I'm not breaking up. When you say the government is trying to solve the problem, I want to ask you, how is the government solving the problem when you don't see your president? You don't know where your president is. Besides the degree, you don't question him. Mr. Lacha, you cannot interview your president. So how do I solve the problem? So I don't understand. Mm -hmm. The government is not solving the problem when we have an invisible when we have an invisible president, they cannot solve the problem. Maître, l'une des stratégies pour résoudre ce problème, certainement, c'était d'envoyer ce général qui a combattu beaucoup Haram en même temps. My problem, as I said, is not a solution. No, yes, he's going. He's going to fight. Down. He's going to fight the criminals. He's going to fight the criminals. The no, people. No, listen. In most countries, the police that fight criminals is not the military. So they don't understand. You see, we have B, gendarme, Ahmed, all those people. It's not an Anglo-Saxon culture. Police people are friendly. They can engage with criminals. They can solve. But well, we've seen cases where them. police That's officers have been killed. Okay. We've seen several cases where police officers have been killed 
And if the government rates those who are causing havoc to be above the police officers, why not send the military to go deal with the people you call criminals? No, I don't call them, I keep on saying I call them criminals. I keep on telling you, if people abduct people, if you kidnap people, if you rape people, it's a criminal offense. And I've heard, I've seen people, they have done those type of things. So if you do it, I'm not calling them, that's what they are doing. And again, I will repeat, to police the country, you need police officers. People, are, the police need to be friendly with people. Even if you're a criminal, it doesn't mean you have to hit hard on them as if you're fighting war with people who are not citizens of that country. You should know they are your citizens and they are away. The government have created this five-star hotel called DTR. Are they not self-confessed and criminals living in that DTR? So why can they not use the same approach? Everybody cannot surrender at the same time. I don't suspect, I don't respect the fact that the government is saying general in the Northwest region. My solution is we know what is going on, the anglophone problem. People have hijacked it, yes. When we start solving those problems, it will give me, I will take five minutes to solve that problem. When we start solving those problems, these people who are criminals who are lying that there's an anglophone problem hiding behind anglophone problem, they will have no cause now. The public, the population will be able to identify them now as criminals. Okay. So that's very important. Yes, Metro Alex, let's stay in your region of uh, your region and division of origin, FACO Division. Municipal Updates newspaper this morning is uh, telling us that there is panic in uh, FACO Division shortly after uh, <laughs> President Paul Bia uh, appointed a new senior divisional officers and land grabbers and fake chiefs are panicking. As per Municipal to, Updates newspaper. To me. Mr. Lasha, to me, actors speak louder than words. I don't like headlines. I'm calling, and I'm calling this man's name, Ajudan, uh, is it Ajudan Yeme, one, the person who was working with the government of Kamaru, a military man. He has constructed in my land in Boya. I have the certificate. The land was bought in 1974 by my mom. So when you go and give the government and produce those certificates, what do the government do? The man is there. He knew it was my land. He constructed it, they told him, Construct there if it comes, maybe you will compensate him. So, my problem. We lost, we lost Metro Alex. <laughs> Morning. Let's uh, proceed. The lines apparently are disturbing today because of the rain. We are talking about uh, land grabbers and uh, what the paper terms fake chiefs who are panicking in FACO division shortly after <laughs> their, their collaborators or their partner in crime was sent to a different uh, division by President Povia. Yes, <clears throat> Kingsley, normally they are supposed to panic. You know, last time we were talking about the, the, the fact that we have people who seize lands, who do all of these things, and uh, uh, somebody in the government, for example, will come and seize a particular land or forcefully take a particular land that you had already bought, just like Merch was talking about the land that Precisément his... Precisely, the military, the hommes and the news. And the news, yeah. A particular land that his mother bought in uh, 1974, and, and some other person came and constructed on that land and all that. You know, when some other person who is high up there in the government does that kind of thing, and you are just a mere citizen, we talked about it the last but time. But this issue of land, this issue of land in in FACO division is is, uh, is is not something that started today. There's one former commissioner of police who is now in exile in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, she fought this issue of land land grabbing in FACO division. It, apparently, any administrative authority that comes there is is only there for himself. Yes. They're fighting for themselves. They just follow from what has already been going on. Like it's like it's like you get into a, a place, you get into a company. C'est comme une mafia. C'est comme une mafia. Mm. Et, et puis dès que tu arrives là-bas, peut-être tu n'as pas eu à faire ce genre de choses mm. de là où tu venais. Mais dès que tu arrives là-bas, tu n'as pas tu le choix. Le tu suis le système. <laughs> okay. C'est comme ça. Okay, Metro Alex, I'm worried like many other Cameroonians. What is the problem? Uh, with FACO division when it comes to land. The problem didn't start today. I will tell you about the landscape in FACO. Look at FACO from Boya going to Mutegene, Tiko, Limbe. It's a beautiful land. And everybody wants to have a piece of cake in that land. The topography, the mountain, all those things. It's beautiful. But um, 
That's why people want to have land in that area. It's very important, and it's something it's possible that you can sell the land easily and make money. But the issue now is we keep on talking about uh, people grabbing land. I will tell you the truth. I've been there. Even I met one deal. I've met a couple of them in Boya. They are part of the problem because they meet each other, they sell lands, they meet these local chiefs. I've met them, they knew about my land, I've come there several times. That land they have been trying to remove the pillar and whatsoever. The government know they are part of the problem, the geo, the geo, the administrator, they know about it. And it's difficult to solve the problem when those who are selling the land are doing it with the geos and other civil administrators. That's the problem. So it's very difficult. Once we have an honest person, we have an independent person, Mr. Bia can sign a presidential degree and give high instruction to somebody who is not connected to this people. I'm sure they will solve that problem. Est-ce que le travail de ces administrateurs est celui de vendre les thés? My point is, see, I always come on your program, I'll tell you, I'm not a fan of these duos and SDOs and governors. If you are elected in a position, you owe your allegiance to the people. You know, in the next four years, if you're not working well, if there are certain lands to be out of office, I put that your prophet. I sometimes think some of this is very important because they know if they are not doing their, their work, in four years' time, election is coming, they will kick them out. Those are one of the good things, and that's why I don't like this deal. They owe their allegiance to the head of But, but Metro Alex, what, what has been the role of traditional rulers in FACO division? Does it mean that? Most of them, uh, they don't longer respect customs and tradition. Why should they allow their lands to be sold by these administrators? To be honest again, I will still tell you, Mr. Lasha, I'm not a fan of that. When we used to get traditional rulers, there were people with dignity, property, and integrity. Today, anybody just come to the street, they call themselves traditional rulers. You know that government pay the money they gain for something. To me, I don't, I don't think we need them in certain places. I'm lucky that my uncle, the former phone of my, the phone of my uncle, my, was my uncle. So I know these people, those ones, they had dignity. These are people who shaped Cameroon with the phone of Fumba. So but today, we have people who, some of them are older, and some of them have lived abroad, and they went back to Cameroon. Some of them, they have criminal past. Some, most chiefs now, they live abroad in Europe, in America, they, they are chief in Cameroon. So I don't understand the system anymore. I'm sure the word chief or traditional ruler is absolutely in most part in Cameroon. Especially in FACO, we don't really chief anymore in FACO. To me, it's my view, it's my opinion, because we have outlived that period. And again, if you are a traditional ruler, when you're supposed to be neutral and deal with your entire population, now they take sides in one political party, of lost that power to call yourself a traditional ruler. Ok, Gladys. Ok, maître, parlons à présent de la dette publique du Cameroun. Le journal Émergence nous révèle ce matin qu'en 2023, le Cameroun va devoir payer 300 milliards de francs CFA d'intérêt. You see, when it comes to debt, it's public debt, it's Mr. Lasha's debt, it's Pony's debt, it's Gladys' debt, it's Cameroun's debt. But when these people they go into those debt, they enjoy the money of the country. It is only for them or their resources. But when it comes to debt, they throw it back to us. High time we have to look at these things about public debt. This debt is not public debt. Mr. Bida's debt is the, is the prime minister's debt. It, it is their debt. No, they they, they borrow it in the name of the Cameroonian people. So we should stop calling it public debt. If we are not enjoying the resources of our country, it cannot be a public debt. Maître, like maître, on, par, on parle on ici, on parle ici. Debt. Maître, on parle ici uniquement du taux d'intérêt à payer en 2023. Ce n'est pas la, yeah, la dette interest, à payer, c'est juste les intérêts. Interest on the, on the loans. Uh, yeah, the, the interest comes from what? Debt. It's still for the same thing. You are paying interest because you borrowed money. So it's still the same thing. What I would call it the interest. And the people who should be paying this interest is those people that Mr. B have arrested them. They are in Kondeki. They have benefited from the proceeds of crime. I've not seen Mr. Bia seizing their houses, their cars, and all those things. That Those are the people who should be paying those debts. People who are not benefiting from the resources of Cameroon should not pay any debt. I don't believe if there's no public services in Kikakilaki, in Mayemen, 
in other villages in Cameroon, those people should not pay tax. Because the reason you pay taxes to government, or government borrow money in order to service and do public service in the country, but unfortunately we are not getting those things. Normally, there's something which I believe, no public service, no taxation. And the debt should be paid, I'll keep on repeating it, is Mr. Bias, Mr. Bias should pay that interest. I read something in the newspaper, how much Frank Bia have got houses in France and in Chantal Bia. Those, they should take those things, they should seize it, and they should pay the debt with it. It is Cameroonian's money. Okay, it is Cameroonian's money. <laughs> Metra, I'll come back to you. Uh, uh, let's talk about Glencoe. Uh, Glencoe prop, Conak has announced uh, that uh, it will be probing into Glencoe affair, uh, Monique. The announcement was made uh, during a press briefing in Yaoundé by Dudene Masigams, talking about uh, some lawyers who have seized his office, asking him to, you know, prop or investigate uh, those officials who are allegedly uh, uh, involved in the, the scam or financial scandal. Kingsley, I think it's 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 that's what is supposed to be done, you know. Uh, but do you really think uh, that the investigation, on the, on the the investigation will be will be free, <laughs> open? Can they can actually carry the investigation? Mm. I believe that if 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 they stand their grounds, they'll be able to carry out these investigations because most of the time the problem we have as but, but uh, after as a that, mind you, Conak will only submit to the presidency. Connacht does not have the power to be able to sanction. You know, that is where we have a problem because at the end of the day, first of all, when we want to get into an investigation, we are not getting into an investigation with an, with an open mind. We get into an investigation with already preconceived ideas like, will those be able to investigate? Because when submitting at the presidency means that we are submitting to Ferdinand Gongo, who exactly. transmitted to President Paul Bia. Exactly. And Ferdinand Gongo, of course, is the board chair of the National Hydrocarbons Corporation. And we know and what... He has, been, uh, he has been named amongst people that uh, are suspected in this, yeah. in So this what kind thing. of investigation <laughs> will Connacht actually carry? <laughs> Metro Alex. So, so, so that's where we have the problem, because even before you want to start an investigation, there are already... Yes you know, preconceived ideas about the whole thing. It's like you want to start something, but you already have the results for that thing. But is that the CONAC should wait to be seized by the lawyers before they start this investigation? Not at all, Gladys, but it's like that the Cameroon has been structured. And we know that we are in a country where corruption is so high, how do they say it in French? Elevated. Est tellement élevé et, et puis ce sont des trucs que à la fin comme Kinsley est en train de dire l'un des des, 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 des des personnes qui est euh, euh, qui est euh, directement impliqué, directement impliqué mm -hmm. est celui celui à qui on, à qui va on transmettre doit transmettre encore, encore mm -hmm. euh, euh, les, 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 les résultats de, de l'investigation. Yes. Because like a criminal investigating himself, it's like a criminal being a judge. Because it is, it, I heard the word of the person you call. I'm sure them that or not. He said we should be discreet. What does discreet mean? Be careful. Be prudent. That's what he said. Why should we be um, discreet? No, and not to offense, jump. Not to jump into conclusion. Not to jump into conclusions. They don't no, want to be hasty. Is, they, want, they don't want to be hasty. No Mr. Lasha, in the Western world, it is very difficult to play with the court of law. The judges are independent. People have been found guilty. If you act under the Freedom of Information Act, if I won in the UK, I apply and pay 10 pounds. I ask for the names of those people who uh, associated them, who have committed those crimes. They will send it to me. The law comes. If it is Gongo, if it is a person in the Hydro Cup, they will give me those things under the freedom of information. So at the end of the day, we should not be careful. A judge in the best world, and the federal court have found them to be um, guilty. And we cannot say we should be discreet. Cameroon too should ask for the same evidence. If they ask the UK or the American, they will say is it connect? Is it Connac that is supposed to probe into the matter or the National Assembly as per the ruling of the court in, in, in UK and US? Because they did say that uh, Parliament 
uh, it is the, the, the competence of parliament to probe into the matter. But we are rather having CONAC. It's not up to them to tell us, my point is, we have a criminal justice system, Tamaro, a crime has been committed. They should leave it to them. When you see these quangos, these type of things, they call CONAC, so that if the poor bias friend you commit a crime, they can decide, no, don't try this person. That's why they created those CONAC. We don't need it. We need an independent judiciary. So in case somebody commits a crime, it should go to a normal court of law. They should investigate if all this conduct or this type of law. It's a court of law to protect Paul Bia's friends. That's the essence of the criminal. We need an independent judiciary, independent judge. We don't need conduct. How, how would that come, Maitre? How should that be done? How do we get those institutions? How should that be done? Yes. By tearing away the five-minute constitution and revise the constitution and bring people like us and other experts so we can bring a new constitution and there should be separation of power and the constitution should not be like the holy bible that is praising only one person. Honorable senior demigod Mr. Paul Bia. Maître, comment expliquons-nous que uh, des, des autres autorités ils ont été cités dans cette histoire uh, de fraude et ils sont toujours en fonction. Rien n'a été fait, ils continuent d'exercer dans leur dans leur fonction comme si de rien n'était. Ce n'est venu nulle part. Comment comment expliquons-nous que certaines certaines hautes autorités ont été citées dans cette histoire de détournement et continuent d'exercer dans leur fonction comme si de rien n'était. Ce n'est venu nulle part à part au Cameroun. The people who govern a country, they are not the Pope, they are not um, evangelists, they are people like you, Gladys, Emanuela, and Gacha. We can plan now we are criminals and we take over a country now. And when we start committing our crime, we allow people to remove us from power. No. So governments are not holy people. They are criminals. There are some governments in the entire world, they are criminal syndicate. So when people are there, they are stealing money. And let me tell you the truth, nothing will go with this conduct or that it will go nowhere because the people who committed or alleged have committed those crimes, they are part of the government. They are part, they are tied into so nothing will happen. The That's person, the, the boss of hydrocarbon is a French person, is powerful, they can do him nothing. If government has cited, they will do him nothing. But the problem in Cameroon. Without supporting for a revolution, is doing an election to change the whole system and remove all these people, and so that we can change the country, a new constitution, and anybody who has committed crime will face justice one day. Yes, uh, the voice weekender will face justice one day. The voice weekender is asking questions this morning that uh, Emmanuel Macron, our master, is coming to Yaoundé. What for? The voice we can is asking what for. We know when Macron goes to Africa, it's about interest. I'm sure the only president in Africa that have made him to be ashamed of himself is the president of Ghana. The last time I could remember, he went to Chad, a, a war torn country. He went there to remove a father and replace, a, put a son. That's his job. He so, goes to so is that what he's coming to do in Cameroon? Is it what it's he? Not, he can go there to start doing the groundwork. He can go there. That's his job. That's the only thing he does in France. He has, I mean, in Africa. You saw him the other time in Nigeria when they wanted to launch the ECO. When Macron is going to Africa, know that it's bad news for the citizens of Africa. It's not the good news always when he goes there. Because he doesn't care about us in Africa. He's going there to protect the interests of France. Former President Jacques Chirac said, Without Africa, France will be what an underdeveloped country. So they have to make sure we are in chains forever to dry our blood until they suck our blood until it gets finished. They will never stop. French, French mais, people, mais, France, que, our world. What do the population Camerounese do? What do the population do? Oui. If the population of Cameroon comes to face the same thing, it will be done every day. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, Metro Alex, thank you very much. Our time is up. Thank you to televiewers of My Media Prime Television for watching the very last edition of the program for the week, which was produced for us by Akeba Desmond. We were Gladys Bomotongina and myself, Lasha Kingsley. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.